When someone talks about monster grass, one nation which pops up in anyone's mind is China. Say it's tradition or religion, bamboo trees are at the heart of the agriculture sector in China. In both traditional as well as modernized farming, bamboo trees are amazingly cultivated by Chinese farmers and the results are super amazing. China is blessed with the best geographical location, friendly environmental conditions, massive manpower, and varied innovative techniques. All these factors suit the best for cultivating bamboo trees in masses. Amazingly, China is the largest producer of bamboo trees and almost half of the 1,250 species could be easily found in China's diversified bamboo production. Interesting, isn't it? What techniques are used by Chinese farmers to grow bamboo trees? Which China is the best choice when bamboo production is talked about? Let's take a deeper dive to know how China tops the list when the bamboo plantation is in the picture. Why is bamboo highly preferred cultivation by Chinese farmers? One fascinating fact that not only amuses China, but the entire globe is that bamboo is highly strengthened, elastic, and has wear-resistant characteristics. Once cultivated, these bamboo grow swiftly, and it'll take almost three to five years to get mature. These bamboo trees mature with high yields, and throughout the process of their growth, they need very little care and management. The next appealing fact about these bamboo trees is that the end product can be used for endless things by human beings. This bamboo can easily substitute wood in the long run, and all of us are aware that human beings are heavily dependent on recognizing and exploiting natural resources for survival. Being said this, not only China but the entire world has the most prominent agenda of harvesting and utilizing bamboo in the agriculture sector. However, the method of cultivating, harvesting, and utilizing varies on the quality as well as the end user of the bamboo. You might be surprised to know that there are about 1,250 species of bamboo in the world. Some prominent bamboo zones in the world are Asia, the Pacific, the Americas, and Africa. Nevertheless, 80% of the species of bamboo can be spotted in East Asia and Southeast Asia. Now jumping on to why is China the best area for the bamboo plantation? The major benefit for China is its perfect location. It is situated from the subtropical zone to the temperature zone, and some of its parts like Yunnan province are in the tropical zone. So these zones are particularly within the reach of the East Asian and Southeast Asian monsoon regions. And hence, with these super geographical conditions and natural environment, most of the bamboo species can be spotted in China. So because of this advantageous location and amazing climatic conditions, China is ranked as the largest in terms of species as well as the diverse growing area for bamboo plantations. Widely named as the Bamboo Kingdom, is home to more than 500 species of bamboo and this is the first country in the globe to cultivate such an insane amount of species of bamboo. Which parts of China are planting bamboo trees? Not only natural forests but also man-made forests have bamboo plantations in China. From the southern part of the tropical zone to the northern part of the temperature zone, which eventually reaches the Yellow River Valley, have diverse species of bamboo plantations, be it hills, plains, mountains, alpine or subalpine altitude. Every part of the region has bamboo plantations, and these areas are spread in 24 provinces. Other provinces, namely Yunnan, Guangdong, Guangxi, and Hainan, are situated in the southeast tropical monsoon region and have mostly sympodial types of bamboo plantations. Apart from this majority type, these provinces have gigantic bamboo forests and in that giant areas, you can easily spot bamboo species like Dendrocalamus, Bambusa, Schizostachium, and Encephalostachium, Chimonocalamus, Gigantocloa, Trisostachys, Neocenocalamus, and others. Now, coming to the central and eastern parts of China from the Yangtze River to the subtropical region, this region is highly influenced by East Asian subtropical monsoons, and because of these natural climatic conditions, one can majorly spot monopodial and sympodial bamboos. When talking about genera, Philostachys is the majorly spot genera in this region. Counting the total reserve volume of bamboo plantations in China accumulates to a massive 150 to 170 million tons. The natural as well as man-made forests that majorly have bamboo plantations are a massive source of income for the country. The investment is quite low and compared to its outputs. So by analyzing the current situation in China, it is pretty obvious that there is a great potential for further development in the country, especially for bamboo plantations. Being a major producer of bamboo, it's important to concentrate on every step of the cultivation of crops. And we already know China is briskly shifting from traditional techniques of the agriculture process to contemporary techniques. So let's glimpse what are the innovative techniques used for bamboo farming. At the beginning of the spring season, which starts in March and goes into July, seeds of bamboo plants are threshed. Getting these bamboo seeds is pretty difficult, so from the limited availability of seeds, 
farmers try to propagate as many bamboo plants as they can. As these seeds are rare and sensitive, some extra care is needed, like preventing them from drying out, getting too much direct sun, or from getting too cold as well. After this process, the seeds are spread on the farmland and undergo a special watering process. Within three months or so, these seeds grow up and now they'll be mature enough to shift from the earth to the plastics. Until they're strong babies, it is advisable that these plantations take place indoors or in greenhouse cultivation for a few years for the best results. At this stage, these bamboo plants need to be placed in plastics as after growing a bit more, it'll be easy for shifting to other areas. And just in a few days, these saplings are big enough and in proper shape to get cut. After cutting and cleaning one of the bamboo sticks, and then those remaining grown-up plants are transferred into big, plastic bags with roots for further propagation. The upper part of the bamboo is finally cut into three different parts, and in those three different parts, farmers dig a hole and that entire piece of bamboo is half buried in the soil. You might be thinking why the pieces of bamboo have a hole. The reason is while burying the piece into the land, those holes are filled with water to keep the soil and the bamboo piece moist. Within just a few days of proper care and management, the roots grow underground and the plant grows slowly and steadily. The next method, which is usually used by the farmers, is to propagate bamboo trees by roots. This might sound absurd at first, but surprisingly, this is the most effective method of propagation. And yes, this method is traditionally proven and is the most effective natural strategy to grow bamboo. The underground expansion of roots gradually produces new shoots which briskly come out into towering poles. But here, the farmers need to be extra careful as they need to figure out if it's running bamboo or clumping bamboo. Because both the types of bamboo have different varieties of fruits, take into consideration that if it's running bamboo, then its rhizomes grow parallel to the ground and outward. Once these roots grow upwards, they will send fresh shoots and eventually a new sapling. However, the method of growing roots is not the same as the clumping method and also at the same time is not advisable. More preferable propagation method through roots is running bamboo. The next method for the cultivation of bamboo plants is through a method of tree branching. In this method, the new bud in the existing plant is slightly cut and a plastic bag full of soil is tied with a rope around the small cut. So now the roots will automatically grow in the soil and farmers will be ready with a new entire plant. Once enough roots are grown, that extra bud is entirely cut down and planted in the plastic bag for further process. This method is pretty easy, and with this, farmers can get more and more plantings from the existing bamboo. The next method China's farmers prefer is to dig the entire cutout plant in the soil. So in this method, some of the species of bamboo also grow in a grove. Once the small piece of the existing plant is cultivated in the soil, it starts growing roots and finally, the farmer can carry out the existing process for the amazing successful matured bamboo plant. Since agriculture is adopting modernized farming, one more buzz technique is the tissue culture method. This method is a scientific approach to growing bamboo trees and the results are super amazing even if the yield gained is reliable. So be it propagation of bamboo from roots, bamboo cultivation, growth through the grove, or the modernized tissue culture method, one thing which remains constant is China remains number one in the number of species and the yield produced of bamboo. No country at this point is also near China when bamboo trees are in consideration. So these were some of the interesting facts about China and its bamboo cultivation techniques. So what are your thoughts on China and its massive bamboo production? Is China cultivating large amounts of bamboo by some other method? Will this bamboo be an alternative to wood? Do let us know your views in the comments below. And if you enjoyed watching how China is enhancing its bamboo plantations with different techniques, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. See you in the next video.